Don't lie. Oh, somebody's yelling. But I'm going to use a term that you can use when you're unsure of something, and that is, uh, don't quote me on that. My wife missing. Should I get her on camera or no? Yes. She said no. Look at that. They have snacks. Welcome back to another English lesson at a hotel. This is your first time here. My name is Brent. This is Speak English with this guy. And this is probably the 20th time as a plane goes overhead, ruining my introduction. This is probably the 20th time that I've done an English lesson at a hotel, but this one's going to be quite a bit different because this hotel has quite a few different buildings and it's not my hotel room. So I'm here in New Hampshire. Later tonight, I am going to see my favorite band in concert, Dave Matthews Band. And I'm only here for the day, but my friends, there are two of them, they live in Rhode Island, so they are here for the night. They are going to spend the night here. That looks like one part of the hotel, but only one part. We're going to walk down here a little bit. Normally, when I do a hotel English lesson, I don't stop recording until I reach my room. So there might be some cuts in this one just because it's so big and it's not my room. And we need to go down to the lake too. But just next door to the hotel is a cemetery. If you are a long time viewer of the channel, you will know that I have spent the night in a cemetery. It was a different cemetery. We actually do have some yard work going on here at the hotel. People are trying to make the grounds a little more beautiful. So there will be some noise as I walk by, but we can also talk about some of the equipment they're using. I just walked by a wheelbarrow and a trailer right there. So this is some of their equipment. And it looks like they have a wheelbarrow. That's like that yellow thing. That's what we call it in English. And then, uh, a shovel. Ooh, that looks like a leaf blower, that blue thing. Tank of gas. Trailer. Ooh, we would call this um, a trimmer or maybe a weed whacker. I don't know. If those guys see me recording their tools, they might ask, hey, buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? And that would be okay. That would be perfectly acceptable. Because it is a little weird, somebody filming. But right on the top there is a flag. And I think that's a flag for POWs and people who are MIA. It has something to do with the military. POW stands for prisoner of war. And MIA means missing in action. So yeah. Oh, I think he saw that I was recording and saw it for a second, but... Hopefully you can't hear the, um, the leaf blower. That man is using a leaf blower. It's going here. Don't lie. Oh, somebody's yelling. This could be interesting. All right, get rid of the sunglasses here. Yeah, since there is a concert going on, some people may be day drinking. It is still day light out but they might be drinking alcohol, I'm not sure. Right there, call those luggage carts. Very convenient for bringing your luggage up to a, a higher floor. All right, I think this is just a hallway. We'll go back the other way here. Hello. Hi. So maybe we should go downstairs. I think that's where the good stuff is. My friend's hotel room is not in this part of the building. He has stayed here before, but let's look at something better than just my face here. Oh, there is a spa here. 
It says, Behold the beauty. But I am filming this on a Tuesday, and it looks like they are not open today. Walk-ins, welcome. Let's talk about that. Can learn a little English right there. Very important to know. Now, if you are going to a salon or the barber or a hairdresser, you might need an appointment. And an appointment is when you speak to the business and they say, yes, on Thursday at eight o'clock, you can come in or we can take you. You have an appointment a certain day and a certain time. Walk in, it's kind of what it sounds like. You just walk into the place and they might be able to help you. So they said walk-ins are welcome. Yeah, I've never been in this part of the hotel, so I don't even know what's here. Could be a little boring. But what I do want to get to is the lake. This is a lakefront resort. The sign at the beginning of the video said that, and this hotel ooh, is right on the lake. So there's another spa down here. Looks like restrooms are down here. So dark. Oh yeah, hey, is this a restroom? Nobody's using it? So dark. No, I don't think it's a bathroom. Oh, actually it is a bathroom. I could not tell, it was so dark. Eh. Little bathroom down here, tempting. I should use the bathroom, but uh, I'll wait. I think I can hold it. Did you know that phrasal verb in English? If you have to go to the bathroom really bad, but for some reason you can't, you can say, oh, I guess I'll just hold it, which is what I'll do. All right, I may stop filming here. I don't wanna waste your time. I don't wanna make this English lesson too boring. So the next time you see me, we will be walking out to where the lake is. Okay, boring part is over. This is the pool. They do have a, a nice indoor pool there, but out here it might be a little nicer. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Let's take a look at the lake. All right, I think this, ooh, very nice stone fireplace. All right, I don't wanna be too creepy because there will be some people in their bathing suits. I don't wanna be that guy recording people in their bathing suits. So I'm going to have to be careful and try to find where my friend is staying. But yeah, the lake is right out here. Oh, and then my friends are right there too, right to the, to the right. This is where they are staying. Let's take a look at the um, lake first as I change hands. Now, I believe my friends paid $300 for this hotel. But I'm going to use a term that you can use when you're unsure of something, and that is, uh, don't quote me on that. So if you are telling somebody something you're not quite sure of, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, you can just say, hey, don't quote me on that. It's another way to say, I might be wrong about this, but um, native English speakers use it all the time. So there are some ducks here. We can, uh, we can learn the term duck itch. But there is a duck right here, and it's near a body of water, which kind of worries me. So there's the duck, there's a sandy beach, and of course this is the, the view of the lake. It's just absolutely beautiful. But the duck, do you know that term duck itch? If a body of water, like this lake, has a lot of ducks near it, if you go swimming, you might get something we call in English duck itch. And it is because of the ducks going to the bathroom in the water. And then when you get out, your skin gets irritated. That's, what I, that's the verb I would use when talking about duck itch. It's like, you're always itching, it's, it's not very comfortable. So I did not bring my bathing suit today and I don't think I want to. I have the dad shoes are on though. Good old dad shoes. I'm going to be getting some more dad shoes here pretty soon. All right, let's go up into my uh, friend's room. 
so we can see it. It's kind of set up like a motel because the outside, like when you leave his room, you are on the outside. So we might say that that's a, a motel. And I don't think his wife wanted to be on camera, so I might have to edit her out, but we'll see how it goes. Um, my friend Craig, they do have a different accent from me. They're from Rhode Island, and they might sound like they have a, a New York accent, at least to me, maybe. All right, they are sitting outside of their hotel room, but I don't, I'm, I'm worried. They're my friends, but I don't wanna make them embarrassed. Hello, would anybody like to say anything? I just have the camera on me, but I can turn a microphone over to somebody. So you're talking about? Oh, hang on, what's that? Welcome everybody, welcome to New Hampshire. I'm little Dave Matthews hanging out with some great people. My wife, Missy. Should I get her on camera or no? Yes. She said no. She said no. So are you live? No, not live, I can edit this. Can edit everything? Yeah. So, around here, beautiful weather, no rain, sun shining. Why? Oh, it's okay. Wait, people who watch my stuff like to hear native English speakers speak, so I think your accent is pretty cool. Should I slow down? Nope, just speak as you normally would. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's a beautiful day. We're, gonna, we're hanging out with some great friends. Gonna go have some food, good time, and meet some good people. What's your favorite part about staying at this hotel? Uh, the view and the atmosphere. All right, and he said I could take a look in his room too. It's okay? All right. Missy is the other friend. She doesn't want to be on camera. Matt, I think, is behind me. He's also an English teacher. Hello. He said hello. Maybe we'll interview him after we get out. But uh, is this a king bed, maybe? Is this a king bed? It is a king bed. So this is a king-size bed. Got some luggage right there. Got some extra towels if you need it. Got a remote control. Looks like somebody's charging their phone. It's nice and cool in here. They got the air conditioner going, so I kicked the door shut so it wouldn't get warm in here. I didn't want to warm up the room. There you go. Maybe a bedside table there. Maybe a nightstand, we would call it. Look at that. They have snacks. They have M&Ms. Nice fridge. Nice fridge. Nice coffee maker. Some hangers. Ironing board, ironing board, iron. Oh, wow. There's a, I don't know if you can see out the window, but there is a Canadian goose right there. All right, let's check the bathroom out. Get everything you need for a night in New Hampshire. And like um, Craig said, we are going to Dave Matthews Band. And I think I will do an English lesson from the, the parking lot. We'll talk a little bit about uh, going to a concert in the United States. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that lesson. And if you want to see other hotel lessons, there's a whole playlist up there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.